And we're back here again. The first video didn't come out very well, so we are here at the Houston Museum of Natural Science. If you are new here, hello, hi, and welcome. We are Echo Travel Ventures. We are trying to venture out of Florida. Um, most of our videos are of the theme parks and everything, but we are trying to start traveling a little bit more outside of the state of Florida. Um, if you choose to do so, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. If you do to subscribe, hit that bell, no bell notification because we do try to post every Tuesday and Thursday. Our goal by the end of the year is to hit 1,000 subscribers. That way we can go live with you wherever we are at. Well, we hope you enjoy this video. This wasn't open the first time I came here. And this is just simply amazing. All out of jade and gold. Wow, the detail. They have ants. Wow. Oh my god, they have. Wow, oh, so cool. They have a butterfly. And then they have an orchid. <laughs> this is probably my favorite. Praying mantis. Capturing a cicada. It's pure gold, 77 grams. Wow. They got more over here. And over here they have everything out of Jade. They have a kingfisher. Wow. Look at that. A soft whisper. It almost looks fake. It's out of nephrite. Over here they have leaves. And they even have one over here with, it looks like a flying odd, oh, like a dragonfly, that's what it looks like. Wow. Look at that. The Bliss of Daharma. It's all out of pure gold and bronze. Wow. walk in and you're under the sea just simply amazing everything here they have different kind of fish barracuda porpoises tuna marlin they have a giant one on the back end Look how massive this is. Couldn't imagine trying to get that on a hook. So if you are going to be in Houston starting November 20th, you can see Ramses the Great, their new exhibit. That's gonna be really cool. So we're headed up to the second floor because the main level is kind of closed and they told us to go through the elevator and stairs. So we just came upstairs and this is the down 
my battery just died. So this is where they tell you to come up. So you're coming up to the second floor. So over here they have uh, the study of um, invertebrates and um, like stuff like you know clams and starfish over on that side. And over here they have an animal exhibit and stuff. It's pretty 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 cool. Uh, we'll go over here first, and then we'll go into the animal exhibit. So this is what I wanted Amber to see. They have a whole bunch of like different minerals and and stuff like that. Like she would just love all of this. If you didn't know, she collects minerals and stones. She doesn't worship them or anything, but she just collects them. Aquamarine, wow. Because it's covered in glass, the camera's not picking up everything that you can see with your eyes. So definitely come over here and, and walk through here. This is just, wow, Morganite. That one's cool. So as we venture through, they just have a whole bunch of stuff. Topaz and Albite. That's cool. So they just have a whole bunch of different minerals and crystals and everything else. Now, one thing that Amber has done is she has a, they have a mineral and rock Bible that tells you what each rock and mineral kind of helps you with. Um, some believe that like Amethyst does X and all that kind of stuff. So... You know, whether you believe it or not, it's still pretty nice. It's still pretty cool. And over here is just a big amethyst. Look at this. Wow. That one's pretty cool, too. I like it. The colors really aren't coming out. It's like a deep red and bright red. And this is called Amazonite. Amazonite? Amazonite? Whatever. But it looks pretty cool. I like that the most. So they have a whole whole room. As you can hear the opera music behind me. But these are just full of different kind of minerals and rocks and crystals and stuff like that. Definitely worth the chance to come over here. Oh wow, they have topaz. Wow, and then that's emerald. Wow. Albate. Wow. Again, same thing. Wow. So again, these are all minerals and rocks. You kind of just get lost in here. So this is similar to what Amber collects. So you have one peridot, two topaz, three back there is turquoise, number four is hessonite, number four, no oh, sorry, four is that, and then number four, and then number five is aquamarine, number six is opal, which I will be honest, opal is really pretty. Number seven is a diamond, my birthstone. Number ten is alexandrite. Number eight is a ruby. Amber's bought herself a ruby. Number eleven is an emerald. And number nine is a sapphire. Wow, that's really cool. So they even have a gem room of like how they polish them and stuff like that. We're not gonna go through all of it, but that's really, really, really neat. I kind of like that, that one too. It's like purplish, bluish, and green. It's really cool. So as you leave the gym area, 
you get hit again with malacology, malacology, which like I said, that's the study of animals known as mollusks and their shells. So they have a whole bunch over here. We're not going to go in here, but they just, it's pretty cool to see the different kinds of things in there. Come past here, you get hit with the fishies, and then you go right into the animal exhibit. In case you're wondering, right here is the bathrooms. And the elevator is right over there. So you have the Africa with the Serengeti, the lions and the zebras, all that kind of stuff. So leaving the animal exhibit, we walk into where they have the fossils. Now, to your right, they have a bathroom. They even have a map. And they have elevators. And then they also have some fossils on the wall. Now, when I was here before, this view was actually pretty, pretty amazing. I'll show you why. We call it the Morian Overlook. Because you get to overlook everything that's down here that we're about to go into. You have the mammoths and the mastodons. You have the pterodactyls. You have the dinosaurs. They even have a triceratops. The pterodactyls over there. Now, when I was here last time, I didn't realize how huge they were. And look at this. They have the duck bill dinosaurs. They have man-eating dinosaurs. They have a Sagatorus down there. A Bronchiosaurus or Dilophosaurus or whatever they're called. And probably my favorite. Right there. Right there. Is a raptor. A raptor. Everybody, a raptor. It's like a blue. Then on this far side, they have the aqua dinosaurs or fish from way back when. This is just simply just astonishing. What? 
All right, here we go. We're on the first floor. Come from the elevators. You can go that way to see the big guys. Or you can go this way to see the water-based stuff. Wow. So these are all fossils from way back when in a different period long time ago oh. so I don't know if you guys ever listened to Bill Ingvall but he talks about how there was a funny looking fish and he called it the dork fish could that be the dork fish I'm just kidding it's called the, oh, what do they call this fish? It's like, a, almost like a grouper, right? Like a bony, it's called a bony fish, but it looks like almost like a grouper. Now, I absolutely know nothing about dinosaurs, the different ages. So we're now we're going to the early premium. That guy looks pretty cool. A sail fit, sail dinosaur with sails and stuff. We got more fish over here. The guy looks ferocious. Doesn't look too mean, right? And then there's a the fossilized form, all bones. Wow. So now we're going into the late premium, where you still have some of the cell dinosaurs, the ones with the the fan on the back. Again, I don't I don't know enough about them to know anything, but you have like little. That looks like a Komodo dragon, though, right? And then right here you have a saber tooth tiger. The little body is a big head. That's crazy. And we have the extinction event. So these are called Acryosaurus. Huh. So what I noticed last time I was here, so you have this, and then on the wall, they have a depiction of what it actually is, what they're trying to show here. All right, so now we're circling back around. We come back across, and now we're looking at the late Jurassic. We have the raptor. And then we have a Sagasaurus and over here they're showing you what what's going on well, look at this guy many little teeth sharp sharp claws amazing amazing wow and look at this guy look at this guy Sagasaurus, it's tiny little head, and then a mighty tail with spikes. I'm gonna wrap this around. We got a parrot dinosaurs. I don't know what this guy is. There's no sign. Oh, there it is. Ophniosaurus. Oh. And this is the back end of that massive, massive, massive dinosaur. Now, 
they don't have it anymore but they had the largest tire tyrannosaurus i'll put it in here but they had it but they had a t-rex there that was pretty big this little guy here kicks boxing the kickboxing dinosaur And this is called a Rachathosaurus. Sure. Because I can't pronounce any of these names. I ain't, I'm not even going to attempt to try. They just have a ton of dinosaurs. So now we're on the back end of it. But you can just see how big these actually were. And we'll come back around too. So this is called, it's called a wide snouted dinosaur. And that's like its baby, so cool. You have this dinosaur right here. Oh, that one's cool. And then you got that guy right there we just saw from the backside. And he'll crush you. This guy would just crush you. And it's still going. There it is. Wow. Look how tall this thing is. That's incredible. So when Amber was out here, they had the original Jurassic Park on HBO. Great movie still. This guy right here. This guy's name is Stan, the T-Rex. Look at this. Like, amazing. And then they have the Triceratops right here. In the background you can see one of the mammoths. And then you have the Pterodactyl. This guy right here, if I remember correctly, yeah, it's a bobtailed T-Rex. But is it? Could it be though, or could it just be that it couldn't find the rest of it? I don't know. And then we had the pterodactyl. We're on the bottom of it. I look how big these guys really were. Intimidating. And then you have this scary-looking thing. Can you imagine scuba diving and this guy come up? Scary. And then they have more over here going around and that's for the Cretaceous Sea. All the dog all the dinosaurs from the sea. Alright, now we're gonna to go to the left. And we're gonna look at some more modern ish. You have a giant armadillo here. You're fine. This would have been a camel, or a member of the camel family. And look at this guy. Look at this. So you have a cookie cutter saber tooth tiger, an armadillo zilla. That's massive. Now we have a bear and a tiger. Right here, and then you have, I think this was Slothzilla. Look at this thing. The name's pretty cool, but pretty big. And then you have a Mastodon walking around. Now, I don't know, maybe this is the size, the difference between a Mastodon and a Mammoth. And then you have these guys over here, and then you have a shark mouth. Well, this is new. They're showing you how they do their work. You have people right here, and they're actually showing what they're doing to preserve. Wow. That's crazy. And then we come right into 
where they had the Jurassic Bark. Get it? Jurassic Bark? It's petrified wood. Wow. Now, what I had said before would be cool when Amber and I go back to Albuquerque to visit our godsons. We're going to have to stop at the petroglyph forest because this is just this is just cool. Now, like before, the mummy exhibit, or not the mummy, but the e Egypt exhibit is closed. I think they're prepping for the Ramses exhibit to come in. But that's pretty much it for all the dinosaurs. They have a place here called the Periodic Table. And it's right here. They'll have a menu out because they're closed. Because last show is in 15 minutes. So they're going to stop entry to everything. But this is it, guys. A lot of things are closed. Which is unfortunate because I, I always feel like if things are closed, that they should be able to not charge you the full amount. But I get it. The money goes to certain things. But we'll catch you guys outside. Alright, now we're into the, the museum store. Going around, they have some of the artifacts that you used to be able to buy. That's cool. That you can buy, not you used to be able to. That you can buy. You can't buy that, but that's pretty cool. I like it. And then here is the main store. They have a lot of things to the left and right. I'm not gonna shoot everything, but pretty, pretty impressive what they do have. Well, I just finished up. Um, a lot of things weren't open. The Egypt is not open, but again, they're having uh, the Ramses come out here starting in November. So if you're in the Houston area, check that out. Um, other than that, guys, it's really cool. The dinosaur exhibits here, they are simply amazing. Um, it's always fun to kind of see that kind of stuff. But if you made this far, guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to comment down below. Hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Could be Like I said, we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And we can't do that without you. So thank you again, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.